And I think what we're seeing, I really am getting to your question, <laughs> and I think what we're seeing in the so-called backlash is Canadians are saying, you know what, the talking point of if we only defeat ISIS, then this problem will go away, is not resonating with people. Because I think Canadians are saying it's fair to ask, is that working? Has the refugee crisis gotten better since we started the air, the air strikes? And in reality, regardless of the rest of it, no one is saying you bring in the refugees and that solves the whole problem. But regardless of all the rest of it, we have tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of desperate people. And we have a country that's known as being a safe haven. And we have to be able to do that. And saying, oh, the media hasn't covered this enough, as if federal government policy should be based on what's on the cover of the Calgary Sun or on power and politics every morning is ridiculous. And, you know, Minister Alexander should have been a star. He was an incredible diplomat by all accounts. He's a brilliant man. But he's also the minister behind Bill C-24, which I will remind you means that me, born at St. Mike's Hospital in downtown Toronto, could have my Canadian citizenship stripped. He's also the minister who prefers to insult other parties rather than answer questions. And I'd like to have one question answered from him, which is how many Syrian refugees are here? The number changes every day. And if a minister can't answer those basic questions, well, let's be blunt here. We used to have a principle called ministerial responsibility, ministerial accountability, that if the bureaucrats in your department are not doing a great job, you take responsibility. It's been a long time since we've had that in Canada. Maybe we need it back.